G'day, I'm Daka. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Today I'll be showing you my top 5 favourite locations to build in the Savage Divide region of Fallout 76. If you'd like to know more, then sit back, relax and keep watching. The first location is south of Uncanny Caverns. This area is at the entrance of the caverns and has a pre-existing structure. The space behind the structure is on an incline but it's definitely the perfect spot to build up and with a bit of trickery you could even build in the structure itself. The build Uncanny Caverns Pit Stop is listed in the description box down below. The second location is east of South Mountain Lookout and west of the Monorail Elevator. This area is another pre-existing structure with some Raider NPCs and a junk pile. What's cool about this location is that you can actually build inside the structure. It's perfect for a tiny house. The build I did here is linked below. The third location is north of Big Fred's Barbecue Shack. This is an amazing spot with an acid deposit in the water as well as a rowboat, waterfall and jetty. It's one of those hidden gems in the region in my opinion. It's definitely an oasis. Speaking of oasis, my build Mountain Oasis is linked down below. The fourth location is actually next to Site Alpha. Look, don't worry about that Yao Guai that's always spawning out the front of the silo because this area is worth it. You can place your new home right on the banks of the lake here and watch the players race in to launch a nuke while you sit back in your recliner with a nice cold glass of Nuka Cola waiting for the call to slay the Scorch Beast Queen. The full tour of Sophia's Site Alpha Observatory is linked below. The last location is on the White Springs Golf Course. This location is super popular, so getting a camp here can be a bit of a pain. But look at it! The greenest manicured grass in all of Appalachia, surrounded by trees and that view of the rock breaker, perfect. The build Pink Bits 1 and Pink Bits 2 are linked below.
So this concludes today's video. I'll be showcasing the Maya and Cranberry Bog in future videos and there is a playlist linked below of the series. So if you would like to see more and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, like and leave a comment. You can also follow me across social media, join the Blood Dacker Fam Discord and if you wish to support me further, you can do so via Ko-fi. The links are listed below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Cheers!